part of my appearance. I just awoke from my rest. Had a wonderful rest. Sabaka Chaya and everybody. And I just want to tell you because I I feel like when I when I first wake up that like my thoughts are the best. So the greatest story ever told is the story of us, the story of man, the fall of mankind, and and really understanding everything. And this is a story that you could find in the Bible or not even only in the Bible, but any religious book. It's also told in fairy tales and myths and uh, stories that have to do with like magic, magical stories and all those things that have those enchanting or like those far out stories. It's really the story of us, the story of mankind and how we fell from our, from the highest place where we were, where we were stationed in the, in the top and then we lost all which somehow, somewhere we fell down and down and down and down and down. From the top, we emanated down here. So it's emanation. We came down from the high place. Now it's ascension. We have to rise back up to our place. This is our this is our job here. And these stories are for a reason. They're not just like BS stories that we just tell our kids and everything. There's really truth in every in every story, in every religion, in every culture. There, it, it, the essence of it, the, the, what the story really is about is truthful. And there's a lot, like, it got twisted and perverted. And I say perverted not in a sexual way, but perverted, like, twisted. But these are the greatest stories. They're the stories of our, it's our story of our history that we forgot, that we lost. We were, we were, we were in the top. We were, like, so high up there. But then we lost it all. But the greatest story ever told is, is literally the story of us, the story of mankind and how we had it all and we lost it all. And it's in any any old book, any all those books is all it's it's a part it's it's one part of our of our history. So we emanated down from above, and now we must ascend. Cause right now Earth this is the lowest. They call it Maya, Hell, Illusion, all those things. Malkuth. That's where we are right now. It doesn't get no lower than this. So don't worry about that. There's nothing worse than. And right here, right now, this is the the world of all the physical sensations, sensory pleasures, and and uh, deception and illusions and all that. So we emanated from above. Boom! Now we must ascend and rise back up, and gain our thrones. We have to recapture our thrones that we lost and we once had. We were once the most powerful beings that ever existed. We're all the soul is immortal, and uh, uh, that's true. Our soul is immortal, but we could get caught up in this, in this cycle of keep getting like you know, and that's where the story of reincarnation all that comes from. Every religion, every myth that was ever written down has this much truth in it. There's a lot of BS, a lot of fanciful stuff that we put in there just to like you know tickle our imagination and be like, oh wow, that's cool. But the essence of these stories are really true. <sighs> Pardon me. So I'm about to continue my day the right way. I wish you all to remember our and past life regression and all that is there's truth behind because there's so much our collective our collective unconscious the 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 ash the ash cake libraries the 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 all the memories of mankind the collective unconscious that's what we have to tap into to remember. We have to wake up. That's what eleven eleven is all about. Like one 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 one, and so when you live your life, guys, just just look for clues. That's what. There's a lot of clues in the world. In this in this life, there's a lot of clues. We just have to be aware of these clues, and when we see them, let them trigger things deep deep in our in our in our mind that that we were never really aware of. But now you're aware of it now because I'm telling you. The earth is full of clues, and I'm not talking about clues like the pyramids and, and things like that, physical things, but it could be just a picture, a symbol of something that, that triggers a memory deep, deep, deep that's been suppressed deep down inside of us. I love all you guys. Also, love, love, love. Love is the strongest force in the whole universe. God is love. The stars, these are all love energies. Love is the strongest, most powerful. And it's love coupled with our with our will, with our intention. If you really will something to happen, you your intent, you really want it to happen, you will manifest that to happen. If you really if you keep thinking about one thing, like let's say, for an example, I have a Blackberry. 
let's say I want an iPhone, in theory. If I want an iPhone, and that's all I really, I want it, I would just keep thinking about, I mean, I want an iPhone so much. I would think of a way to manifest that iPhone into my thing. Oh, well, you know what? If I do this and this, I could get an iPhone. Or if I, oh, yeah, I bet or I will look up things. Oh, if, or, you know, talk to somebody who doesn't want their iPhone no more. It's not a magical thing. Oh, I want an iPhone. Poof, and it pops up. But no, we'll think of a way to manifest it from our mental, from the mental plane. We think about it so much, we'll manifest it in the physical. And that's this is where the place where where things get manifest. We manifest our part of my hair, my appearance. But this is the this is the place where we can manifest anything we want. We could we could we really will it. We really want it to happen, and it will happen. So it's our love. It's our love for us. We can't have any any impure intentions because it's gonna it's gonna muddy the water. We have to keep the waters pure. As my aunt would say, and my titi Joanne would say, keep our waters pure with love, with that love energy. And coupled, our love energy, coupled with our intentions and our pure, our pure hearts, will make the world a beautiful place. We have to always, we can't think of the world like, oh, 2012, the world's going to blow up and destruction and the earth is going to, the floor is going to crack and lava is going to come up and tidal waves and everything. We have to, we have to really in our minds envision the world as a beautiful place and envision all humans, doesn't matter what religion you are, if you're Muslim, Christian, Jewish, atheist even, or any of that, we're all united by love. We have different morals and, and different views on life, different points of views, but we're all looking at the same world from a different, I have like my binoculars that I look at. So this is my point of view. This is how I perceive the world. You have your own. Everybody has their own point of view that they're looking at the same thing but through their own point of view. If we all if we all seen the same scenario unfold or, or saw a movie and we were asked to, to relay this information, we would have everyone would have a different story. And we all saw the same thing and heard the same thing, but the way we perceived and we interpreted it and the way we would recount this these Things are will be slightly different, and it's, I'm not saying that everybody's story will be false, but in the essence of it is the truth, and that's what all religions. That's the beauty in all these religions and these these wonderful stories that we read about and everything, because it's it's about us. It's our story, the story of mankind, the fall of mankind, and how we lost our throne. We were once the highest. We are the creators. We create our own. It says in Psalms 82 and 6, I say you are all gods and sons of the Most High. We are, we are gods and the 5% of the nation is on they got it and they peace God. They have, that's one important part of the thing. We have to be aware that we are the gods, that we, we are the controllers. I'm not trying to, don't take this in the wrong way, but we are the creators. We create, we're on this physical realm. We create everything around us. These houses, these buildings, these these everything, boats and cars and clothes, and everything we create. We're we're creators. We create things with our minds. When we think about things, we create them. And these energy forms, these, and it's archetypes too. That everything. It's like the the primordial, you know, the Adam Kadmon, the 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 archetypal things. You gotta read up on this Carl Jung and all these people. They knew what they were talking about. The way. The way, the way, like that Zen thing, those people, they have a real important key to the thing, too. They said, this is all an illusion. This is the trippiest thing I ever heard, but it, it also, I love it because it's so beautiful. We, this is all an illusion, so we have to create our own illusion and, and make that the reality and live in that reality. And that's the beauty of life. We can create our own reality. If we're here thinking we're trapped in a in a sort of... I don't know if it's called a paradigm, but above what, above all these things with TV and this and that and everything, we're sort of trapped. If you want to call it the Matrix, and I'm not talking about like Neo, like, but the Matrix. And the people who know what it is, you know what I mean when I'm talking about the Matrix. It's this system of things, this cycle that we're caught up in, this living this life of sheep, like we're just like unconsciously uh, go to work. They that's why they want us to work nine to five, forty hours a week. Now we need two jobs, just so you're always you can never contemplate these things. But this is. Really the essence of, of why we're here. We are the creators of our own destiny, of our own. Every situation we're in, we create it. If it's consciously or subconsciously, we're deep in our mind. We thought about this and we put ourselves in these situations that we're in. So now that we're aware of this, may we all create, as my uncle would say, peace out to scratch the God, oh, Ahmed Ahmad. May the creator anoint you in all your endeavors.
And by that I mean we're the creators, so anoint yourself in all your endeavors, and all will be well. I wish that we meet up on the highest plane after we all ascend to the top and regain our throne. Be easy, my kneesies. I love y'all from the bottom of my left ventricle. And if y'all don't know, that's the part, that's the chamber of your heart that mm, puts in the most work. So, that's all I have to say for now. I'm gonna wake up, brush my teeth. I just woke up when I did this video. I opened my eyes and my, cause I was, I was doing some studying on the iPad right here. I woke up and recorded this video. Be easy, my kneesies. I love ya. From the left ventricle. Do, 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 do.